June 25, 2008. In the early morning hours, a multi-agency task force of 500 local and federal law enforcement officers conducted a raid in the Los Angeles neighborhood of Glassell Park. A Latino street gang had terrorized the small section for many years. In the afternoon of the same day, LAPD Deputy Chief Sergio Diaz, U.S. Attorney Tom O'Brien, and Los Angeles City Council President Eric Garzetti explained the raid to a standing room only crowd of Glassell Park citizens and the news media. We believe this is actually the largest uh, federal and local uh, take down uh, in the city of Los Angeles, uh, 70 gang members. Um, we've, we've, we did a Florence 13 takedown early this year that, that was involved in the county, also with Haida, another federal and local uh, task force. That was 102 gang members. Uh, but, but something that, that, that uh, Eric said um, is exactly right. Uh, we're not done. Uh, I, I'm not turning my back on this community. I never will. And I'm certainly not turning my back on this particular part of the community. Uh, as you probably know by now, uh, we were out at the Dodger Stadium uh, before 4 o'clock this morning. Uh, we had 500 federal agents from a number of federal agencies, as well as a local law enforcement uh, for LAPD mostly, also Glendale PD uh, was there. And uh, we had, uh, the federal grand jury had handed down several weeks ago an uh, indictment, 120 uh, page indictment, naming 70 members and associates of the Drew Street Gang uh, for violations of a number of federal statutes, uh, predominantly uh, racketeering uh, statutes, uh, conspiracy to tamper with witnesses, um, attempted murder of police officers, uh, home invasion robberies, uh, narcotics uh, peddling, uh, etc. Um, the reason we brought these federal charges, quite frankly, and we think the, the positive effect it's going to have uh, for you is unlike the state <coughs> charges, uh, federal charges uh, carry some serious time. Uh, they also, people who are convicted uh, in federal system uh, don't participate in the federal, uh, I'm checked at, the, uh, the state prison uh, system in California. They uh, are sent out to the uh, Federal Bureau of Prisons. Uh, in this particular case, should we be successful in the prosecution, you'll see gang members uh, serving their time, their substantial time in places like South Dakota, Alabama, Massachusetts, all around the you know, for the federal government to move around in six months to, to have take down 70 gang members lets you know how serious I am and how fast I believe my office can move in response to your needs in this community. What we're going to do, Captain Murphy has people that are, are going to be stationed most of the day and night, every day, as long as it takes, right there in a mobile substation, uh, right at ground zero, right at the corner of Drew and Astara. They're not going to go away. We're not going to allow either the remaining members of, of the Drew Street clique or any other g gang to move into the void created by, uh, by our removing the, the heads of, the, of this organization. The officers will also be there to facilitate the rehabilitation of that neighborhood and the beautification of the neighborhood. In the next few days, you'll see DWP's crews coming in. We're going to make sure that there's no tennis shoes hanging on, on, on wires. Uh, we're going to make sure that there's no... Uh, graffiti on the sidewalk uh, or on the street. <clears throat> Similarly, the tenants, uh, there's no reason why the federal government should pay money, should subsidize the rents of people who are committing crimes. We are going to, to, to follow up to make sure that that doesn't happen. People that are committing crimes or whose family members are in those places committing crimes, we hope to get them out of the neighborhood. But I don't think I've ever Again, seen one about, this sir? big involving so many entities uh, really go so smoothly. We, we had literally hundreds of officers, uh, dozens, in fact, hundreds of And we officers are very dedicated to making uh, high risk locations. And uh, you know, we're going after murder suspects and robbery suspects. And it went off without a hitch. We uh, arrested the vast majority of the targets out there. And not one suspect nor one uh, officer got injured. And that is a very, very successful operation. Thank you very much.
If I'm up here telling you things that I don't intend to live up to, then come see me afterwards. If we don't live up to our commitments here, you don't. You know where you can find us. We we can't leave town. Uh, so we're serious about this. We are going to maintain a presence in that neighborhood till the law-abiding, hard-working people of the neighborhood can live as everybody else in the city expects to live, with with uh, with respect and dignity, and not uh, not to be assailed by gang members and criminals. And the crime and the gang always comes back. But I think you've seen something different. We have chopped the head off of a gang today. And they're chickens. This chicken, though, like many chickens, when you chop the head off, still runs around for a while. And we're going to be chasing that headless body for some time. behind the scenes to you know identify the bad gang members and put them away and, and return your streets and your neighborhoods uh, back to what you want it to be.